Hello, and thanks for clicking on the link to watch this video on how you can change uh, inventory parts to a non-inventory part or maybe even a service item. You're not doing that in the program for sure, right? We know that. Like if I go ahead and open up this item, you know, there's no option for me to go there. And you just can't do that. I can go non-inventory to inventory or service item uh, to inventory. Actually, I might not even be able to do that. Let's go look at service items, see how it's grayed out. So the, I can change non-inventory items. Um, just dance around here and see what else we could and other charges pretty much and you can put an inventory part to an assembly but let's say you have some items in inventory but really they should be non inventory right that would be a major change that you would need to make and yet you can't do it within QuickBooks or even the list added at multiple list um, menu though helpful for doing batch changes to your list and also making things inactive in a batch it's not going to solve for this so you really have to do it outside of the program first step Go to your file menu, and one second here, let me delete this one that I already have out there so you guys can see it. Go to your file menu, and you're going to go to Utilities, Export, List to IAF Files. And you're going to check off the item list, click OK, name the list something, and put it on your desktop or somewhere that you know where it is. Then what you want to do when you choose the particular items, I'm going to do the midsize unit and the big unit. Um, even in Excel, I can't bring back in as a different type if I've changed it there, and that's essentially what I'm going to be doing is fixing it out there. However, what you want to do first is in QuickBooks, just add an asterisk. You basically create a new item. You can always make this inactive after the fact. So add an asterisk next to the items that you want to change, you know, in front of the name. Click OK. All right. Now, let's go to Excel. So here's my IAF file, and it doesn't really open with Excel. I mean, it used to be a lot easier with Windows XP, with Windows 7 a little different. So I need to, because when I try to open it, it's going to say, you know, what do you want to open it with? And you can go right-click open with. Uh, but again, Excel is not on the list of things, and it, I don't know really what happened there. I mean, there's ways to do it. You can. Um, uh, you could have it open Excel and then choose all files and go change it to a delimited file, etc. You can do it that way. Or just go ahead and rename the IAF to an XLS. I know Windows 7 does an XLSX, but just do XLS because then you won't get a, um, a warning. And you click Yes, and now it's an Excel file, right? So now go ahead and open it up. And you might get a warning, just click Yes. And there they are. So here are my items. Now I'm going to go down and find, so you have your uh, basically, column E is important. This is what the type of the item is. And then, of course, the name of the item would be uh, in column B. Right? So go down to my non-inventory part, uh, my inventory parts, big unit, and then the mid-size unit. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to change this to part, because non-inventory part is called part. So you want to make sure that that's part. And also make sure that the accounts are correct. So here's my um, income. That's fine. I want to get rid of inventory asset. I don't need that. And then I have cost of goods sold, which is fine, because I want it to be a double-sided item. So to make sure it's still a double-sided item, I want to go ahead all the way across to columns. And one of the columns is going to be called uh, is passed through. So you're passing it through or double-sided. This is going to be a column AB. So I'm going to actually change this to yes. In the essence of time, we'll just do the one item. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to do if inactive, you change that to yes. So we'll leave it there. So I've changed the one, and this is a mid-size unit. It should be now non-inventory part in QuickBooks when I bring it back in. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and then click Yes. All right, and I'm going to X out and click No. All right, and then I'm going to go back to QuickBooks. Now, oops, i got to go ahead and rename this back to an IAF file. And go in and click Yes. All right, so it's back to there, and now I want to go back to QuickBooks and go to File, Make a Backup. I'm not going to because my file doesn't matter, but please make a backup. Import IAF files and go grab, whoops, one thing, let me close the list first. There we go. File, utilities, import IAF files. Go grab the one here, double click on it, let it think, it'll spin, and then it's going to say your list has been, your data has been imported. Now go to your list, item list, and we'll see that I have the, uh, as a non-inventory part, I have a mid-size unit. And then I can go to this mid-size unit with the asterisk, right-click, and make it inactive. And that's how you take care of that, to change your non-inventory parts or, uh, to an inventory part, or inventory part to non-inventory part. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.